My friends, hello, hello, and welcome to a regular get it all done, clean with me. I'm about to go out of town, so I've got to do all of the things video. I am getting started with picking up all of, I'm gonna say clutter, I'm not decluttering, I'm just tidying the house, right? I'm not doing a deep clean today, but as you can see, my house is very lived in. I have six people coming and going. We cook here in our house all the time. So every single morning when everyone's off at school, it feels like a bomb went off. In fact, it feels that way after dinner, before I go to bed, every single day of my life. If you haven't been convinced yet to have four kids, I hope I've done so now. I have a confession for you. I actually do not like cleaning very much. The kitchen's probably my favorite place to clean, uh, which is typically why I start there. I find it pretty gratifying, like a lot of instant gratification to clean the kitchen, do the dishes. I don't mind that part at all. It's everything else that I don't want to do. I just like, I hate folding and putting away laundry. I hate organizing my office. Oh, hey, look, my office. My sister works remote and she happened to be in my area for a few hours. So I was trying to figure out, you know, clean up the office a little bit so she'd have a place to do her meetings. I grabbed my laptop and away I went. So she is in there doing all of her work stuff. I can't really tell you what she does other than she manages teams that do something with medical equipment or something like that. I'm not really sure. And of course, here we are to the never ending laundry. It's never ending. And of course we have our standard laundry that we're doing. Then I had to do my laundry and then we were doing going out of town laundry, which means wash everything. So you know what the heck to pack. Oh, the going out of town question. I'm so glad you asked. So let's talk about that. We are doing a fall trip. My kids have off school for a week. We are going to San Antonio, Texas. I was born and raised in Texas. I'm very familiar with San Antonio. So I'm very excited to take all of my kids and go to some things I've never been to and then some of the things that I have been to. So I found these killer deals on SeaWorld tickets and Aquatica tickets. It's supposed to be 90 degrees every day that we are there. So very excited about that. Of course, we're gonna hit up Six Flags. Gotta go do the Riverwalk, the Alamo. Definitely planning on taking them to the Natural Bridge Caverns and the drive through Safari. I did that a long time ago when I was a teenager and I just thought it was the coolest thing. In case you're wondering, my friend Courtney got me this Scentsy as a thank you for helping her reorganize her kitchen. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below. Courtney is one of my favorite people on the planet and she loves things that smell good. So it makes sense that I would have something that also smells good. So I'm trying to make my bed. Uh, yes, we have a lot of blankets on my bed. Dave and I are a house divided when it comes to sleeping temperatures. I'm cold all the time, he's hot all the time. And I have like all these sheets. I've been trying different sheets, different blankets. Nothing is working, my friends. So I thought I would like fold all the extra sheets. Oh, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm FaceTiming with my mom right now. So I'm talking to my phone, that's what's going on. I'm folding all the sheets that I'm currently not using. And because winter's coming up here in Idaho, it's like 40 degrees in the mornings, 40 Fahrenheit, it's pretty chilly. I decided instead of getting out my electric blanket, I was going to get out my down comforter. It's like a duvet insert and my duvet cover and try that instead for a while. You see all those Brooks shoes right there? You see those? I had run into an outdoor store and they were on clearance. So Dave and I picked up a couple pairs of the Brooks Ghosts. They're our favorite running shoe, tuck them away in the closet. We are set on running shoes for like two years. I'm so excited. The color, are you dying? Oh my gosh, I'm like obsessed with these shoes. I'm actually a little sad I'm putting them away in the closet and not wearing them right now. But Dave said I had to wear out the ones I have currently before we jump to those. Okay, so this bag, I had done a 20 mile hike in the Grand Tetons, uh, the Grand Teton National Park with some friends a few days before this. So I'm trying to like empty out this bag, throw away all the garbage, wash all the nasty, stinky clothes. It was one of the most epic hikes, you guys. If you ever have the chance to do the paintbrush divide into Cascade Canyon, I recommend it. It took forever. Like it literally took all day, but it was so amazing. And here comes the like, what corner do you tie onto the duvet insert with the duvet cover? Like, why are these so annoying? I don't know why these are so hard. Um, this duvet insert is uh, was my mom's that she's not using anymore because she uses a queen size bed now and I have a king size. So she gifted it to me, which was glorious of her. And I slept in this last night. Oh my, it's like sleeping, being hugged by clouds. It was fab. I'm sure you've noticed Rogue following me around all day. Uh, Rogue's a puppy, she's like nine months old. And a lot of people ask me about Speedy. So Speedy is a senior dog. He is 11 years old, he is old and tired. So he basically sleeps on Haley's bed all day long, which is why you don't really see him following me around. 
<laughs> Kick off my shoe. Whoops, I got a shoe on your bed. Alright. Here. Steam roll. <laughs> okay, we're good. You see that pile of books over on my nightstand on the right? I think I have a problem. I am like halfway through five of those and then the rest of them are just ones that I want to do, but I haven't started yet. Back into the laundry room, more laundry, more laundry. And I decided not to put away my clothes this day. I did it uh, the following day, late that night. I can't even remember. Time has no meaning to me anymore. I went into the dreaded bathroom. This is a judgment-free zone, but I really want your opinion. How do I keep this bathroom counter clean when I actually do use about 20 different products every single day? I have adult acne and I have like this large extensive collection of acne products that I use, plus makeup, plus washers. What do I do? Okay, it's come to the time where it's, we actually have to pack for the trip, like actually because I'm leaving in two hours. So I am going to grab this bag. Here's the deal. We're staying in a hotel overnight tonight, right by the airport. Our flight boards at 5.30 in the morning, okay? So for breakfast tomorrow and then like hotel room snacks tonight, I'm picking out snacks. That's what I'm doing. I'm picking out snacks and I'm gonna put them in this bag and we're gonna leave our car in long-term parking. So we'll just leave this in the car once once we're done with our snacks. So I do want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video and providing me with the following snacks. The Soli products are one of my all-time favorites. They come in strips, jerky, chews, all kinds of stuff. They're delicious. You guys, Thrive Market's an online grocery store. It is membership-based, you know, just like some of your other big box stores that might rhyme with Blasco. <laughs> but if you do the annual membership, it's like $5 a month. And if you decide you don't like it, they'll refund your money in the first 30 days. One of my favorite things about Thrive, like so some people th are thinking it's just gonna be more expensive. They match whatever cheapest price you can find elsewhere, they will match it. So it will be the same price. You can put all your orders in online. They get shipped to your door. You can recycle all of the packaging. When I travel, I'm a big fan of nuts. So I'm gonna bring these cashews to kind of munch on. And then, I mean, I already said the solely, but I'm just gonna bring this, Um, this is, the jerky and this one's pineapple drizzled with chocolate. I'm gonna bring this whole box. These are bomb. Every single one of my kids is obsessed with these. I kind of wish I could bring my favorite salsa and chips. Does that feel weird to do in a hotel room? You tell me. Here's another one that you can get at Thread Market. These are so good. I'm gonna pack that too. Dave will really, really like that one. If you guys wanna try out Thrive Market, they are going to give you a free gift up to $60 if you go through my link below. It's thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom. First link in the bloop if you wanna go try them out. I'm a big fan. I've been using them for a long time. Another cool thing that they do is if you have a specific diet, if you eat a certain way because of allergies or whatever your reasons are, uh, you can sort by that thing. So if you're doing keto, you can sort by keto products. If you're gluten-free, you can sort by gluten-free products, um, which I think is a really, really cool feature. So thank you Thrive Market and let's get back to packing. Time to actually pack the suitcase. I'm kind of like, I don't, making a mess right here. And then I have <laughs> um, like some toiletries or whatever. My one sweatshirt, I'll wear this on the plane. I have socks. I can't find the match to this. I don't know what that, maybe I won't bring that one. But I have jammies, my Hey Dudes, flip flops, running gear, shorts, tank tops, and t-shirts. That's like the name of the game for the entire trip. And my running shoes, I'll probably just be wearing on my feet for the airport and then I can wear them most of the time. So it's time to, I don't know, figure out if I even have all my stuff. And of course, I gotta pack all my zip fizzes for the whole week. So we can tuck these in here. What's this? Oh, this is a dirty laundry bag, sweet. We'll just leave that like tucked in. We gotta put all of my gear in here. One carry-on, that's the goal. Everything in one carry-on. Oh, I need a swimsuit. I'm gonna take this book too. Okay, I think we're good, I think we're done. And I don't even need this expander open. Oh, that up. Boom. One bag. One carry-on. For everything. Okay, the last thing I'm working on is my personal item, which is uh, this backpack. This is my go-to travel bag. So I always keep a purse inside of it, but it can hold my laptop. It's gonna have my empty water bottle. That's my travel hack for you. Fill it up after you pass security. 
Um, my little toiletry bag I have to take out and put on the scanner guy will just be in this. Cords, chargers, and laptop because I am working and then the shoes I am actually wearing on the plane. So I just have to put my last few things in here once I am done uploading the clips you see before you and we done. I'm like kind of loving these swivel wheel guys at the bottom. This is like super, super fun. It's a lot bigger than my other carry-on, so I'm really excited about that. Hey, Haley, check it. It's my bag. Nice. Yeah, right? What's the case you taking, the Eagle Creek? My okay. only complaint with the Eagle Creek is that it doesn't have wheels like this. I know, yours is older. You have to go like that. I know, but I really like but it. But I do like the Eagle Creek yeah. bag, so it's probably the one I'm gonna take. Okay, are you packed? Are you ready to go? No. <laughs> It's okay, you're gonna go drop off. Yeah, I gotta go, Rogue, I gotta go take Rogue. Finish packing. Cause I worked last night. And then you and I were trying to figure out what shows and movies to download for the plane. Which we did. Wait, what did I download? Oh, I'm gonna watch Tick Tick Boom. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna watch The Summer I Turned Pretty and see how it goes. You tell me about Tick Tick Boom because yeah. I've heard good things. Speedy is already with my sister. He is wow. hanging out with her for the week. What are you doing? Yeah, she knows something's up. Look, she's giving me the eyes. She is. Yeah, yeah, be gone. Be gone. We are off to drop off a few things before we head out. Um, we're taking Rogue over to my friend Jane's house. I'm dropping off a mailbox kit at my friend's house right now, and we do need to return some DVDs to the library as well. So we're running and doing all those. Hopefully we are out of here in one hour. We made it. <laughs> I didn't know if we would. We're on our way to the hotel for the night before we uh, hop on the plane tomorrow morning, early, at early o'clock. Here's what I've learned about traveling like by yourself versus kids. Traveling with kids is, take the number of kids you have and multiply that by two, it's that many times harder. So I have four kids. It's not four times harder. It's eight times harder. <laughs> than going by yourself. Than going by yourself. That's the truth. But we made it. And I'm really excited that we're like in the process now. <laughs> I'm not on vacation yet. No, no, I'm not on vacation yet either. We're, we're headed to be on, being on vacation. What do you think about uh, traveling with kids being eight times harder? Is accurate? Accurate. Totally <laughs> accurate. You don't know where their stuff is. You don't know if it's clean. You don't know where the state of anything. So it's like a constant battle of asking questions and getting half answers. <laughs> yeah. We made it. We made it. These hotel rooms that can sleep six are my favorite. What time's I wake up call? Oh, it's like 3.45. See you in Texas. We made it to Texas. The boys are already playing pool. This is our Airbnb, how cute is this? Andrew's room. Bunk room. Haley, what's the best thing about Texas? There's Bluebell. Yes. Travel in general. Mm -hmm. Easier to get to places. Mm -hmm. And then the houses. I think the houses are always so pretty. How cute is this house? This house is so cute. If you're wondering about food, I have no plan. I did have a Walmart delivery put in. I have Rico chicken, family Caesar salad. You mix those together, wrap it in a burrito. Boom, you have travel dinner. No need to cook. We're here, we've made it. Thanks for joining me in today's video. I'll see you in the next one. If you wanna see more uh, adventures of our Six Flag trip. Should I make a whole new video about the Six Flags trip? Or the San Antonio trip? We could. We could. If you want to see that. Little, maybe a quick little highlight video. If you want to see that, hook me up with a thumbs up. Oh. I haven't done that yet. See ya. Bye. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to fill in.